and never forget, Mr. Speaker, that if we followed the advice of the right honourable gentleman, we would have stayed in the European Medicines Agency and we would never have had the vaccine rollout at all. Just another barefaced lie told by our Prime Minister in Parliament. Britain was still bound by EMA rules when the COVID vaccination programme began and Johnson knows it. Don't just take my word for it, listen to the head of the MHRA, June Rain. We have been able to authorise the supply of this vaccine using provisions under European law which exist until the 1st of January. So our speed or our progress has been totally dependent on the availability of data in our rolling review and the rigorous assessment and independent advice we have received. So I hope that clarifies the point about the European relationship. EU legislation enacted into British law already allowed countries to temporarily authorise vaccines without waiting for approval from the EMA. In fact, the UK government made it clear that it could authorise vaccines unilaterally under European law in a press release in November last year. If a suitable COVID-19 vaccine candidate with strong supporting evidence of safety, quality and effectiveness from clinical trials becomes available before the end of the transition period, EU legislation, which we have implemented, allows the MHRA to temporarily authorise the supply of a medicine or vaccine based on public health need. For the Prime Minister to continue to use a cause of international cooperation and celebration to sow more division is a disgrace. That he should do it by telling barefaced lies to Parliament is shameless.